Today we'll be testing some of the most popular viral Reddit hacks on the Minecraft subreddit from the last month to see if they really work in Minecraft or if maybe these Redditors were lying right to your face. This first hack, guys, is literally probably one of the coolest ones you'll ever see in your life. This guy made a tactical hill in Minecraft. So you hop inside of a seemingly innocent grass hill. Boom, the entire thing lifts up. You can snipe out of it and kill enemies. And then it closes back down. I mean, if that isn't one of the coolest builds ever, we'll see if it's possible though. All right, here's your basic hole. Like a little bench thing here. Now this actually legitimately is real tricky. I think you put down the repeaters, you make them go in opposite ways, like I've done harder before. We're getting a little advanced here, players. He seems to have covered up the entire central region. How do people come up with this, man? I can barely even build it following a tutorial. If we did this right, this piston is gonna extend. Hey, look at that. We did something right. It's not, it, it ain't frequent. And I feel like I, this might work first try. We'll see, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Now we build the tactical hill itself. Covered in grass. I'm actually excited because if this works, this will be a big home run for the first. Here we go. Hey, that sounded good. If we take out... Guys, we did it. We did it. Look at this. So this is what it looks like. This is the tactical mount. Close this up. And <laughs> you can actually use it. This is literally the greatest build I think I might have ever seen on Reddit. Shout out to my boy metrics underscore because this is literally so cool. All right, here's the scenario. It's nighttime. You're scared. You need to go in survival mode. Zombies know you're in here. What are you going to do? Boom, pop this thing up. What are they going to do? Nothing. They can't even kill you, right? Oh, oh, the babies. The babies can. Just be aware the babies can get in. It's not a perfect plan, but it does look sick, and obviously players can't get through. I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10. Let's go to the next one, because it might even be cooler than this one. All right, so what I'm about to show you now is what I call, I just labeled crazy torch thing. By the power of building pistons, trap doors, tons of armor stand, and he creates this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous scene right here. We're going to try to recreate this. I'm about to do this so hard, you don't even know what hits you. Break this real quick, yep, and then pop that down. Yep. Good start. Yeah, don't mind me, guys. Just building the uh, best fountain ever over here. Not making mistakes, not me. Nope. You can't make armor stands upside down on Java. Why didn't I read the top comment which said, notice it only works on bedrock? Well, guess what? We're committing to this one all the way. Let's see what turns out for us here. You can only turn armor stands upside down on bedrock. You know what? Ours might turn out okay after all, because we're going to make ours blue. Okay, so this is how ours turned out. Now, it's just a little bit different because we don't have, obviously, the correct armor stand look. So it doesn't look like it's actually on a platform. At the end of the day though, don't do this one on Java, all right? Zero out of 10 on Java. Let's go to the next one. Please be possible. It's called the most easiest elevator in Minecraft. Our boy here, Frank, has made this. Check it out. So it's a sticky piston with redstone. Oh, geez. Once we get into redstone, I just instantly get a little nervous. You're saying easy and, and the fact that it's got all this makes me think it's not easy. Oh, it's like an actual elevator. Starting off, we're gonna put a uh, blue button on our blue log. Gotta go one block at a time. Yeah, this is easy, guys. That's easy. Why, why make a ladder when you can make this? Easy. <laughs> this is the ground floor here. So we have a really good colorway here. The teal, purple, and green. Or Why not switch colors halfway through? Let's make it real bad. I feel like I did it about perfectly. Um, the only last piece here is putting a button right there. This ought to be about a perfect elevator. And I know I know what you're thinking. It obviously looks really good. I'm a natural builder. What can I say? Here's the deal. You, you got to get upstairs. You can't use a ladder because you're trying to show off to impress your Minecraft girlfriend. You build one of these bad boys. You walk up. You get inside of here. You push the button. Fingers crossed it works. I really have no idea. Not the start you want. Could it be this simple? Could this be the solution? Guys, I, I got this idea. Hear me out. What if we did something like this? All right, let's just see. We did a little something like this. A little something like this. Go right up to it and press up. It's this crazy item called a ladder. You can use this one, folks. Guys, we're going to slow it down with the guy who shows us how to make a realistic fossil design. Isn't that exciting? Who, who doesn't want a realistic fossil in their base to show their friends? So this guy uses a bunch of armor stands. Obviously, this is being done on the Bedrock Edition. He carefully pushes multiple, a multitude, we'll use a big word here of items, into the ground. The way the armor stands are all angled, it actually makes it look like a little bone sticking out. This will be our bone. Welcome, bone. Hey, hey, look at that. We're off to a great start here, folks. Off to a good one. You got your first dude in. We're gonna do red wool, because I'm lover fella, and I like the color red. And then one of these, one of these. Oh, so we're creating the shape now of the fossil itself. Ours is deformed. Hey, it's okay. Ours kind of looks like a little animal, though. This might be good. To make the backbone, he does this really weird thing. He has this, like, build here kind of looking thing, and then, like, puts armor stand on it, and, like, falls in. We'll just try to get a couple angles here, because, like, you know how it is. Like, ours maybe has a, a back disease type thing here, and ain't nothing wrong with that. He's got skull Scoliosis. All right, there's our scoliosis sore. Scoliosaur. The final play. You can think of this as your final boss, folks, right here. Okay, now we slam this down. All right, guys, the moment of truth. Here comes the fossil that we just made from a fossil hack. Here we go. 
Oh, it changed. It's, it's black. Our fossil changed colors. You know what? It's almost like a turkey. It's definitely got like, like a disease here. I mean, look, at the end of the day, it works. It's just what kind of fossil are you going to make? I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. I don't care. I think it looks good. Let's move to the next one. All right, coming in next, 16.4 thousand upvotes. It's called a gold treasure chest tutorial. You put an armor stand with the gold thing down and then push the chest into it while it's in the ground. And then when you open it, you can actually see the gold helmet sticking through. The way to get this one to work is you actually have to place the armor on an enchanting table because that gives it a different height. Man, this is wild, man. Some of these things people come up with just blow my mind. Like it seems so simple until you go to do it and you're like, someone had to come up with this. So that pushes the grass. Then you put the chest down and this will theoretically push the chest. Is it possible to move a chest with a piston in this version? What? Don't do that to me now. The Java edition does not allow you to push chess, but if you are a bedrock player, all right, that does mean you can do this one. For our sake though, we'll just, through the power of editing, there, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Wow, good job, Zach. 10 out of 10, next. This, I'm, I'm gonna warn you guys, if you play on my Minecraft server, do not do this one. I almost didn't show you because it was so illegal. Mason has a life post, how to get bedrock, how to get bedrock in survival mode. No cheats, no hacks, no anything. Check out what this guy has done. So he has some sort of a piston set up here, right? Somehow the bedrock glitches, teleports into the chest. Like if you watch what he, watch this, watch what, I don't know if it works. I don't know if it's only bedrock. I don't even know how he built this thing. We're gonna try to replicate it here. What? Guys, this will not be easy. This is maybe one of the hardest things we've ever done, but because it's so cool and I want to show you how to destroy the server. I want to disclaim again. Please do not use this on my server. Please use this on anyone's server except for mine. I should probably kill this guy real quick. Come here, buddy. Hey. All right, guys. So we're taking this straight to the end where this process has to be done. So we're going to clear this out, but you got to go to the end to make this one work. Guys, we are in so over ahead for this one. I can't even explain to you how complicated this is, but somehow you place these on top of the portal and it prevents the portal from respawning. Obviously that didn't work because I just blew them all up. So you can see though the portal regenerates. So if you break the portal, it regenerates. What? Why does he back? Oh, guys, you don't understand how unbelievably difficult. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have been watching this tutorial for 25 minutes. This is insane. You go through the work to figure out how to do this. You deserve to be duping. And I'm going to post you guys a link below if you would like to try this yourself. But I am warning you right now, unless you have hours of your life to waste, this ain't for you. Hmm. This one, two out of 10. I'm actually glad it didn't work because if I showed you how this did, it would ruin Minecraft forever. So you're welcome gamers for not showing you. Let's go to the next one. Now guys, this last thing I wanna show you, I like to give you guys that stay till the end of the video a prize because you stay for me and it helps me a lot. This is a device that can theoretically crash any server you're on. So it's literally a fairly simple, kind of. You push a button and it actually should crash your game. The second he pushes it, the entire game crashes. Maybe even during the video will blur out parts of it so you can't actually copy this on my server. One of the weirdest builds where you actually hope your game crashes. All right, guys, this is our build here that supposedly crashes your game, maybe even the server, I don't know. So theoretically, when I place, place this button, it's gonna instantly crash my game. We're gonna go to the desktop. I don't know what my recording software is gonna do, if it's even gonna crash the whole video. So here we go, three, two, one, zero. Mine did absolutely nothing. What? What? No. Guys, we have finally busted a myth on this one. This is total bullcrap, zero out of 10. And that is where we're going to stop it. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, lick that screen, and I'll see you guys for more videos soon. Peace.